Welcome to the painting desk. Now, in miniature wargaming, there are a lot of different scales of miniature, a lot of different sizes and levels of detail from your small units to your big giant centerpiece models. But today I wanna to focus on what I'm gonna call the champion scale of miniatures. And this tends to be things like unit leaders or uh, lieutenants or generally little infantry heroes. And uh, nowadays in Age of Sigmar, you have Galatian champions. So let's take a look at three tips that I recommend to help you get these miniatures ready for the tabletop. Tip number one, detail from above. Now, a lot of times you'll hear this in the painting community referred to as faces and bases. And generally this does mean literally the faces and the bases of the miniatures. But an easy way to accomplish this in general is to either start out with a zenithal prime or pay attention to areas such as the shoulders, any heads, and the top sections of detail. And by top, I mean the, the highest levels of the mini themselves. And you want to give these portions of the mini either a brighter coloration or a bit more detail so that when you're looking at them from a distance or first looking at them head on, your eye is drawn to those areas. Now beyond just this simple zenithal prime, easy way to add this sort of interest and detail to your mini is just to go over the top, particularly the, let's say the upper arm here, the tops of the heads and the shoulders with something just like a transparent white. In addition to the zenithal, this is going to help those areas pop just that little bit more. Especially as we start to apply layers of transparent color over them. Number two. Take your time, but not too much time. Now what I mean by this is whether you're base coating or doing contrasts or even just edge highlighting, you wanna take a little bit more time on these champion scale models than you would on let's say line infantry but you don't wanna sink as much into them as you would a centerpiece. I like to ratio out the time that it would take me to paint a champion model to about five regular infantry models rather than a whole squad of let's say 10 or 15. They're nice small projects and by taking this extra time, you'll get a little bit more smoothness out of the finish. And we want these pieces to stand out. So taking that little bit of extra care so that when the details are appreciated a little bit more up close, will pay off in the long run. And lastly, number three. Add a splash of color. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be 
a glowy effect like we've got here. It can just be some simple colors, but you just want something on your mini other than your basic infantry scheme to just help it pop a little bit from whenever these smaller heroes are standing in the battle line. Now it can be something small, but I like having at least a larger area to draw the eye down to the mini. And even in a brightly colored scheme, obviously these colors show up really well in this sort of desaturated, grim dark scheme. But even in a brightly colored scheme, something like a weapon or a banner can really help to set the hero mini apart from the rest of the line. And with that, I hope these tips prove useful to you when you're trying to paint your champion or small hero minis. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like down there and maybe a comment to help out the YouTube algorithm gods. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. As always, thank you for watching. Take care and happy painting.